there is a unique art exhibit that is installed at Crawford Lake, which people can witness into the new year. People will not only be able to visit the exhibit in one of the longhouses, but also outside on the trails. The exhibit is called Amea, and is the work of Indigenous artist Catherine Tamaro. The exhibit itself focuses on a unique celebration of water. Uh, the exhibit is called Amea, which means on the water in Wyandot, and uh, the generation of the idea was around uh, looking at the ways in which we relate to water as an element, water as a life sustainer, and the ways in which the women who lived in the village may have experienced water, not only practically and pragmatically, but also spiritually and um, even in dream spaces or conceptual spaces. So were they ceremonially writing about water? Were they, or teaching about water? Were they experiencing water in those um, deeply spiritual ways? And how could I, as an artist, reflect that? The art exhibit helps to build a connection between the viewer and the outer environment. Uh, they'll see a series of photo digital collages which are photographic in nature and they are uh, suspended in the trees, in the woods, along the trail from the lake up to the village. And they are, uh, there are 13 of them and they cover uh, notions and ideas such as clans and social groupings, uh, water as a spiritual component, uh, water as again as a life sustainer, um, they'll cover uh, ideas such as how Crawford Lake is really a reflection of the spirit world, how uh, the spirit world and the natural world interrelate with each other, and how we as humans and other animals relate to the spiritual world or the spirit world. There is a deeper purpose of the art exhibit that goes beyond a simple surface viewing of the artwork. Catherine hopes that visitors will have a more spiritual experience. I, I, I guess my hope is really to, to encourage people to relax into their own unconsciousness in a way, to stimulate them by having images that are dreamlike in nature or uh, not specific enough to tell them what to think or how to feel, but our associations are uh, evocative, are suggestive of ideas and thoughts and um, different kinds of spaces than they may be in in the natural world. Uh, I want them to think about how important water is, not only as, uh, as a life-sustaining element, but also as a spiritually nourishing element. Um, I want them to learn about water in a ceremonial context uh, in terms of their own lives. I want them to learn how to praise water in their own way and uh, imbibe in water completely and wholly. Um, the works in the Deer Clan Longhouse are a little bit different, although they still celebrate water and things associated with water. Uh, I work in floss and linen with natural installation elements uh, to suggest uh, other relationships that we have around and in water, like trade, uh, again, ceremony, birth, even the division of cells, um, natural elements, workmanship, all kinds of aspects around um, living around a lake. The exhibit has been in place since October and looks to be extended into the new year. So go visit Crawford Lake before it's gone and find a deeper appreciation of our access to water and the natural environment.